Hello guys and welcome to episode 34 of Rebuilding the Bridge. I'm Jake and today it's the last episode of season 4. We've done four seasons in this Chelsea save now on this YouTube channel which is crazy to think about. Going into season 5 soon. I always said I'd end it when we had like consistent success but as we can see in the Premier League that's so hard because this season we crashed out of the FA Cup, we crashed out of the Carabao Cup both early on. We also got knocked out of the Champions League as you saw in the last video in only the quarterfinals to Liverpool, our Premier League rivals who have then gone on to look like they're going to win it. They're currently in the final and I'm assuming they are going to win it. I think they've got a pretty easy game too against like a Leon or a Leverkusen, someone like that. So I'd expect them to win. So we're only saving grace really to, I mean, I'm not sure if I would lose my job, but to make sure I stay stable in my job would be to win the league. Now, when you last saw, we were ahead of Liverpool, but they had enough games in hand that if they won them all, they would be like four or five points in front with only like seven games to go. But all of a sudden, Liverpool, I'll show you the, their schedule recently. They've done a bit of a bottle job. As you can see, they lost to Bournemouth, which was when it all started. And Varane got sent off in that match. Bournemouth won. And then I thought, hold on, maybe they won't get all the points that they're expecting. They then drew 2-2 to Man City. Beat Watford and Blackburn, as you'd expect, but not as convincingly as they have done in other parts of the season. As you can see, they're winning 5-2, 6-0 here. And then, in the Wolves game, which was their last match, they've drew 2-2, meaning that the table now looks like this. We are three points clear of Liverpool on the last day of the season. We are playing Blackburn today, who are bottom of the league, on 18 points. They're already relegated. They've got nothing to play for. And we've also got the goal difference. So if we were to lose 1-0, say and Liverpool won 1-0, we'd still win the league. But I'm expecting that we'll win this match quite easily. And even if we don't, if we get a draw, we still win the league. We've put ourselves in a very good position, only losing one game this season, and that was two Man City. So if we hadn't have lost that, we would have actually gone unbeaten this season. I say that, expecting to beat Blackburn. I, I, I think we should. I don't see how we wouldn't. Now, in terms of our recent form and how we got here, you last saw us lose against Liverpool. Since then, we've turned our form around. We beat Southampton 3-1 away. We then beat Tottenham 2-1 away, Jadon Sancho getting both goals in that game. We beat Aston Villa 5-0 at home, Arsenal 1-0 away. Arsenal, by the way, finished 10th. I mean, I don't even know if they finished there. Can they still go even lower? Everton win and Arsenal don't win. Arsenal could finish in 11th place. That's crazy. But yeah, we, um, we did beat Arsenal. We then beat Fulham. We then beat Leeds. Only just beat Leeds, by the way, for a Mason Mount penalty. And now we have Blackburn in what should be an easy game. And it should be a nice little... Finish to the season, we should win the league, see the little celebration when all the players start dancing, and hopefully we can build on that in the next seasons and really get some consistent success. Let's just go into the team quick before we start. Is the usual team really the only players not there are Mason Mount who is injured, so Kovacic comes in. Bastoni, like I said, did take Tamori's place in the team. Tamori picked up another injury, so Tamori doesn't feature anywhere today. He's in the reserves somewhere. So, yeah, we've got a really good squad here. We're going in our attacking formation, which is a 4 2 3 1, expecting to get the win and hoping to go out, attack from kickoff and get a nice win to finish the season off. Also, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for your support so far throughout all the seasons, and I hope you continue to watch in season five. Like I say, I'm still new to this, I'm, I'm still trying to learn and make the videos better in any way I can. So, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments, or if you just want to talk about the videos so far, or just anything feel free to get involved down below. So that being said, let's get into the match and let's win the Premier League. Okay, and we are off here against Blackburn, who have not had a good season at all. They're currently managed by Patrick Vieira. The one thing about Blackburn is that they do have Juan Castillo, who is an ex-player of ours, who we sold to them for like 5 million or 3 million or something like that this season. And he's had a decent season in the Premier League. It's just Blackburn haven't haven't really been good enough for this kind of level. I mean, Scott McTominay is one of our standout players the one who currently plays for Manchester United. But yeah, Blackburn just haven't done very well under Patrick Vieira. I would ex wouldn't even expect them to come straight back up from the championship. They literally got 18 points. It's the lowest I've seen for a long time. And Kai Havertz gets the opening goal there that could help us secure the title. It's his sixth goal of the season. Joshua Xerxes up front instead of Haaland today, by the way, because, well, somehow, even though Xerxes was our backup striker this season, he scored more goals than Haaland and recently has just took his place in the team. And now I imagine the next video will be the summer transfer window update. And I wouldn't be surprised if Haaland was sold, you guys. So we will see what happens on that front. But I, I don't think Haaland is crucial to this team. He just hasn't done that much this season. And as we see there, Liverpool have gone 1-0 ahead against Norwich. But it shouldn't matter too much as long as we can get another goal, maybe, just to secure the win. And it's Xerxes hitting the post there. We're playing really well early on. Really good on the front foot against this, I mean, pretty poor Blackburn team, really. We do have a free kick on the edge of the box with Gramado. He plays it in. Camavinga shot is saved and Pedri follows in, gets the rebound. And that should be the title one, really. I don't see how we won't win it at this point. 
Really happy with the performance so far, and I think we should keep pushing. Why not go for more goals? And I, I'm sorry I skipped the replay, by the way, by accident then. But we're already going forward again. We've reached James on the right-hand side. He finds Sancho. Sancho hits the post. Oh, this could be a good game for you guys to watch. We could be winning 5 or 6 nil at this rate. We're really just cruising against Blackburn, finding it far too easy. And we'll push ourselves into attacking. Why not? Let's see if we can get some cool goals. And we'll encourage the players because we've been pretty good so far. And we have got another chance before half time. It's a cover kitch corner to Kamavinga. It's off the line. Has it been saved? I think we're about to get a penalty. Anthony Taylor's listening. And yes, it is a penalty. Joshua Zerksy to take. And if he scores this, we'll be able to see how many goals he's got this season. I think he'll be on 24 or 25, which is a very good amount for someone who hasn't started. 23, there you go. He hasn't started every game. He's done really well this season, Joshua Zerksy. I think he finishes as our top scorer this season. He's bagged that penalty nice and easily. And um, yeah, going into half time, 3 0 up. This is the easiest channel video we've had for a long time. Obviously, it is, I would usually show a hard match in this, but it is the last game of the season and it is the one that could win us the title. So, of course, I'm going to show it when I can. I just saw there Arsenal are winning, so maybe they will hold on to that 10th place spot. They're currently managed by I don't even know who. And they literally haven't even got any decent players left, Arsenal. They're, they've really fell apart. It's a bit similar to Tottenham as well. Tottenham only just. I think they are in the top six, but only just. They were quite far out of it at one point. They were like 17th, but they've came back as the season's gone on. Um, we could have a chance for another one here, and we have. It's Joshua Zerks. He gets his second of the game. Can he go for a hat-trick? His 24th goal this season. Grimaldo, who's been brilliant, a brilliant signing this season for us. Put the cross in, and Zerks, he just rose tall. This Blackburn aren't even trying there. No one's even defending, and I don't blame them. They've got nothing to play for at all, and they're still playing defensively. You can see they've literally got... Four people in defence, two central defensive midfielders behind that, then a flat three midfield, and then just one striker on his own up front doing nothing. Liverpool gone free in a lot, but it doesn't matter at all. And I think we might be able to get another one here or not. I thought we was about to counter on Blackburn, but maybe they're going to have a chance. And it is Armstrong for them, apparently. Oh, no, we've won the ball back through Bastoni, and Kep is going to take the ball forward with the centre-backs, playing it between themselves. These guys have formed a really nice partnership. Bastoni and Mencano, they've looked really good together. Kamavinga in the midfield now to Kovacic, to Havertz, Sancho on the right-hand side. Can he find Zerzi in the middle for his hat-trick? He's found Havertz instead, and it's gone over the bar. Can't be too disappointed with that. We're still cruising here, and I think we'll make some subs in a minute just to bring some players on to finish the season now. As you can see, Grimaldo's on a 9 rate, and he's been really good today. Let's bring on Gravenberg. Let's bring on... Have I just put... What have I just done? I did not mean that. I just put Russo up front and Zerzi in defensive midfield. Right. Let's think. Yeah, we'll have Russo there. And then let's bring on hudson Adoy. Why not? hudson Adoy deserves a game. He's been really good this season. It's probably been hudson Adoy's best season for us, I'd say. And Grimaldo plays ball into the box and Russo just over. He is the first regen, I think. I might be wrong, but I think he's the first regen that's really making it into our team, Russo. He was really good out on loan. He's now just about to hit about 20 years old. And he's just there as one of our midfield options now. And he's playing really well when he has been given the chances. Sancho goes close. Can we get a fifth goal here? Maybe a Xerxes hat-trick. That would be nice to see. We'll demand more just in case. Kovacic plays the ball in. Bastoni with a header just over. Maybe we'll get one more goal, but even if not, we've won 4-0. We've absolutely cruised it. Grimaldo puts the ball in. Upper Mancano just over. I am going to now switch it to the director view so you can see the 3D animations when we win the league. But we are going to have to watch a highlight in 3D, but it's gone over. Usually too many of these 3D highlights and my computer will overheat and sound horrible. But there we go. We have won the league. We'll see them all dancing now. Look at them go. There's me just there, standing to the side, clapping really slowly. What a crazy season it's been. We thought it was going to be an awful one after that last game against Liverpool. We thought really it was all over. We weren't going to win anything. We might be struggling for a job. But we finally won the Premier League title for the first time since the first season that we had. And yeah, I'm really happy with that because it means I can hold on to my job for a bit longer. And hopefully keep it for a while now. I mean, I've won them two Premier League titles in four seasons and two Champions League titles in four seasons. But we finally ended Liverpool's reign of dominance on the top of the league. As you can see, we won it by three points. One loss against Man City, a 2-1 away loss. We had some draws against both against Man United, one against Liverpool. A Watford, West Ham, Tottenham and Norwich draws too. So a four of them draws were 0-0 was showing that we really don't concede much. And if we go to the Premier League as a whole, we can also see some player stats. So the top goal scorer was let's have a look Joshua Zerzi got top goal scorer award in the Premier League which is really nice to see he'll get the golden boot most clean sheets was Kepa 27 clean sheets way above Allison with 21 he broke the Premier League record as well this season Kepa for least conceded I like to think that's because once Bastoni came in we just were a brick wall at the back 
and he's only conceded 16 goals all season, which is crazy. Marcus Alonso, our ex-player, is getting in there with tackles. So is Juan Castillo. The top two tacklers in the league were both ex-Chelsea left-backs. Most assists go to Mohamed Salah, Mason Mount in fourth there. That's our player there. And then we don't have any of the five best players in the league in terms of average rating. You can see three came from Liverpool, one from Man U and one from Man City. But we did it as a team effort. We didn't have one single best player. We just played as a team. And we've done really well this season. I'm really proud of the boys and we'll definitely take that. So yeah, guys, the next time you see us, it will be the 35th episode, I think. And it will be the start of season five, which both good milestones to hit. I didn't think I'd be making it this far. So like I say, thank you for your support so far. Please, if there's anything you do like or don't like about the videos, let me know because I, then I can change them up so they are better to watch. It's hard to know what people enjoy without being told. But overall, I hope you are enjoying the content. If you are, feel free to hit the like button, comment if you want to get involved down below, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you could subscribe, that would help me out a lot. We would finally hit 30 subscribers, which would be really nice just as we go into the fifth season. So I thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, guys, and goodbye.